Okay, let's get power from our disconnect switch to our terminal block. And you'll see that I've marked AC plus, AC minus, ground, 24 volts plus, minus 24 volts here. Uh, the other thing that we need to talk about is grounding systems. So the best practice here's your chassis ground the best practice is to have one point to bring all your grounds to now in this case they bring them here well your cable is going to come in your AC line cable 120 volt cables come in you're going to have AC plus or line negative and ground okay so from this ground point you want to go over let me see what where they want it TB 18 a so it's TB1, here's our ground. We're going to come down to 8A. And you notice these are all tied together. So any shields, uh, from, any shields from your control cables, anything that's got a drain wire, you want to bring them all back to, the, to, the, to this point here. Okay? Don't, don't bring some here, don't bring some up there. Try and bring them all back to one point. You want to, you want to uh, eliminate the ground loops if you will bring them all back to one point you can introduce noise into the system if you don't follow that practice so there's our ground um, let's do our AC minus AC minus is going to TB 1 4 a so here's our AC minus and we're going to TB 1 4 a and then our AC plus is going to TB11 a so here's our 120 volt AC plus going to TB11 a so now we've got our voltage down to our TB1 uh, terminal block okay so now we've got everything there now let's feed our power supply so our power supply AC line is going to TB11 b so there's TB1, 1B. It's going to go up. There's the line of our power supply. And then we're going to go to TB1, 4B for our neutral. TB1, 4B. And they call for ground to go to TB1, 8B. So, heck, let's use the green one for the ground because that's what it is. You know, I was just thinking we're going to need power for our, our CNC PC and our monitor. So we're going to call this the CNC PC. And we'll just put line, neutral, and ground. That, you're going to have to, however you do it, you know, we got to get power to the computer. So we're going to, we're going to draw that in here. It is one of the components. So we'll get power, power to it. Let's see if we can do that now. Let's get power to our... Our CNC PC. Okay. It says we're going to TB1 1B. So let's just use blue. TB1 1B. Yes, it's the console or the PC. So we're going to go here to here. And we're going to go, our white is coming off TB1 4B. So it's TB1 4B. And then our ground is going to TB1 8B. So it kind of parallels the power supply to the all one DC. You see that. So now we've got power. When we flip this circuit on, we've got power to our power supply. We've got power to our CNC PC. All right. And then there is a plug, a pigtail off of this. It comes down and it plugs right into. You'll, you'll wire this power supply. It has a pigtail that comes with it. You'll wire it per the instructions. The color, it's color coded. And then you'll plug it into the all one DC. So when you power up, now you'll see we got power. It's going up to the power supply, powering up all one DC. We've got this. We go to the CNC PC. Um, and then one other thing that we've got 
as well is uh, the CNC PC ties in to the all-in-one DC. Um, there's an Ethernet connector. So an Ethernet cable comes out of here, goes down, and it plugs into this, the Ethernet port. Ethernet port of the CNC PC. Now, it's important to note that that is a shielded Ethernet cable. Um, I believe it comes with the all-in-one DC kit, which comes with the power supply, the cable, and the all-in-one DC. But you can tell the difference when you look at a, um, a cable. You see how I got one handy here? I do. This is an Ethernet cable, patch cable. The difference between this and other, an unshielded one is that there's, there's a, you can see it, it's a metal jacket around the connector. So it's a, it, that denotes that it's a shielded cable. It's the only kind of cable that you use from the CNC PC to the all-in-one DC. So make sure you use the right Ethernet cable. So now we've got power to our power supply and our CNC PC and our all-in-one DC. So we flip that switch, all-in-one DC comes up, our PC comes up. Um, so that's, uh, that's that first part, okay? So just take a look at that. We've got power from our 120 volts goes to terminal one on the terminal block and now these one through three are energized and then four, five, six, and seven, those are neutral. And then eight, nine, 10, 11 are chassis ground. Those go up to that disconnect switch. So I'm gonna clean this up and then we'll go on. We're gonna go with the original plan, just do one subsystem at a time, okay?